Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're doing a student's guide to quizzes. So quizzes is a great fun tool, great way to check learning at any point during a lesson. Very great, easy to use, works in the browser, can be used on a mobile device as well. So first off you need to go to joinmyquiz.com and then having gone there you just need to enter in the code that's displayed on the screen. If you're doing a virtual lesson the tutor may well put the link in the chat so let's bring up a new instance of the browser. I can paste that in. And it asks you to enter the code. So we can just toggle back and forth. So I'll just go back and enter the code here. So I can copy that and toggle back to the student profile, paste in the code and hit join. It's going to ask you to put in your name or initials. You can, it'll allow you to turn the music on or off, have it questions read aloud, and also alter sound effects. So if you hit start, you're ready to play the game. You just wait for the teacher to start. If you come in late to a lesson, you just go to joinmyquiz.com and put in the code, in this case, 253710. So the code is always displayed in the top corner there if you're late for a lesson. So if I just go back to the teacher view, I can start the quiz and I can toggle back to the student. So you'll see a countdown and then you'll see the question appear and options. So you'll see the various options. You'll see a, a bar at the top going down. The quicker you answer the question, the more points you get if you're correct. So if I go, that's from Scotland. Uh, so let's try that one. Let's say that one and you've got basically four choices, up to four choices of answer, and you just choose which is which. So I'm gonna go with pickles, I don't know. And you just answer the questions as you go. So let's say that one, but again, no idea. It's choosing the answers as you go. put anything in there for the moment. Answer the questions. So we're almost finished, nine questions up. And last question. So we've now got our questions answered. So as a student, you can see at the top your accuracy. So 50% of the questions I got right. If I scroll down, I can see those with a red band I were incorrect and those with a green band were correct. So where there's a blue band, it means there wasn't a, a, a correct or an incorrect answer. So there wasn't a marked option. The teacher will probably show you the answers and go through them. So I'll just show you what the teacher can see. So the teacher has various ways of going through it. So it can go through and do questions and it can go through and give you the answers as it goes. So it will talk you, they'll talk you through that, but you can also view it. If I toggle back to your view as a student, you can see the questions there, but what's a really nice feature is you can also use it for revision. So if you click on the study flashcards, it will load up the quiz questions as flashcards. So you'll see the statement or the question, and then when you flip it over, you'll see the answer, which is a really nice, way for using revision. So there you have it, a quick guide to using quizzes. It's nice and easy to use and also a great source for when it comes to revising. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.